Hello everyone, I am Obi One. Yes, that Obi One, and welcome to Velocity, the final stop before we reach WrestleMania. And what a car we have for you tonight! Titles are on the line, but let's kick things off between two greats in wrestling: Eddie Guerrero versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And classic Latino heat breaking in the low rider tonight. It is game time for Eddie Guerrero leading up to tonight. It was Eddie losing to Ricky about a month ago by a roll up. And the distractions by Guerrero and Ricky's match against the Velvet Team Dream. You always have the mind games. Will the mind games play a factor in this match tonight? Again, a former number one contender for the Undisputed Championship, a Warrior Rumble participant earlier this year. Great matches between The Undertaker and Diamond Dallas Page. Will this be another great one for Latino Heat tonight? And will Ricky get out of that slump? Will he finally get a win this evening? We talked about the distractions by Eddie Guerrero against the Velvet Team Dream, but these two have teamed up in a tag team match a few weeks ago against the Usos, and the Usos winning over Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So the pressure is on Ricky tonight. And to be perfectly honest, before that roll up, it was looking like Ricky and Eddie were going to have a great match. Again, but what a match this should be to kick things off on Velocity. Again, the, don't drop that fire. I mean, I mean, you know what happened last time, right? I'm just saying. And so here we go in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Disqualifications are on. Thank you, referee, for letting me know. And here we go. And again, a Northern Light suplex with the bridge. Beautiful by Guerrero in a one count. And a good thing to kick off this match as Eddie now turns his attack to the arm. And again, arm bar straight into the mat. And again, will that be a factor? As again, now. Ripping apart the other arm. The other arm. There we go. As Ricky now takes Guerrero down with a shoulder block. Or shoulder tackle. And again, now it's Ricky's turn. And again, ripping his arm into the mat. And again, who will get the early advantage in this match? Right hand punch by Ricky. And an elbow to the back of the head. And Stebo now with a hard whip into the turnbuckle. And down goes Guerrero. Nice reversal by Eddie. With that dragon screw into the DDT. As Guerrero now picks Ricky back up. And again going for another Northern Light suplex. This time without the bridge. Or without the pen, pardon me. As Ricky now going and connects with a beautiful suplex. Do that two more times and uh, we, we may be having some lawsuit issues. And a beautiful monkey flip by 
the steamboat. The dragon. Ricky. Into the grapple. Hold on. Judo chop. Just, just beautiful. And what a move by Ricky taking down Guerrero. And again, I, I say that the momentum is on his side, but no. Reverse Owen into a drop kick by Guerrero. That's right. You go and learn today. As Guerrero now. Into the backbreaker. And again, Guerrero going back to the arm. You know, I would rather him work on his legs. Seeing as that the clover leaf dealing with the lasso from El Paso. And here goes Eddie Guerrero connecting with the three amigos. And again, two out of three. And three out of three. As Guerrero goes into the cover. Referee, what the hell are you doing? One, two, man, I'm gonna just super kick the hell out of that referee. Again, this is Randy Orton, Jake the Snake Roberts territory at the Guerrero. Got close line by Trying to go for a fist, but Guerrero got out the way. And Guerrero now a side to back suplex. And it's a time to get a little froggy for Eddie. Connects with the frog splash. And it is all over. One. Two. And a kick out. Oh, what a long, long two count. That damn referee. And Guerrero is just chilling. Seeing. Is he setting up for another frog splash? That's Guerrero. Guerrero. Back on the top rope. Trying to go for a corkscrew. But Ricky rolls out the way. And see, that's what I'm talking about. And into the figure four leg lock. And whoa. Guerrero tap. Oh, what a slap by Guerrero. As Eddie now throws Ricky into the ropes. And connects with a spinning back elbow. As Eddie goes back into the cover. One. Two. And again, another kick out. See, a short or two. So Eddie picks Ricky back up. And again, jocking for position. And what a knife is chopped by Guerrero and into the DDT. And again, it has all been Eddie Guerrero. Nice shoulder block and reversal by Ricky. As Steamboat now climbing the top turnbuckle, the top rope. What is he going to do? In position. And going with a double axe handle. And again, two high flyers at the top of their game. And Ricky calling for Guerrero to get back up. And what another axe handle chop. I was about to say judo chop again. But Steamboat going into the cover. One. Two. And a kick out. And again, Steamboat going back up to the top rope again. What's he going for this time? And again, calling for Eddie to get back up. Uh, he's not going for that crossbody. And again, another judo chop. And again, going back into the cover. Referee, uh, you, you're kind of out of position, but okay. And a kick out at two. And Ricky is all fired up. And here goes Steamboat. But a reversal by Eddie. And a forearm by Guerrero. And Eddie now setting up. Is he going for the three Migos again? Yes. Setting up for the third and final one. And it connects. And as Eddie now setting up. And again, this is what a beautiful arm bar. And the referee calls for the rope. Are you kidding me? Uh, Guerrero back up on the top rope. And what is Eddie going to do? 
this time. And what trying to go for a drop kick. And now it is it's back and forth. Again, my top rope maneuver is better than yours. Trying to go for an elbow. And Guerrero reverse straight into the hurricane rana as the referee initiated the 10 count. And again, Guerrero setting up again. And a capture suplex. Again, good stuff as Eddie rolls Ricky back into the inside of the ring. And the referee breaks the 10 count. And this is why I'm talking about going from the lasso from El Paso. And will Ricky the Dragon Steve will tap out? No. And again, the strength of Ricky. And the elbow to the back of the head again. Good reversal by Latino Heat. And into the snapmare. Trying to go for something, but an elbow to the eye. As Steamboat now. Trying to go for something. Good reversal by Guerrero. And Eddie now connects again with a nice Northern Lock suplex. With the bridge, but not the pen. And Eddie now setting up. And Eddie with his feet on the ropes. And a two count. And again, classic Latino heat trying to steal one. As Ricky now setting up and into the power slam. And again, what a match this has been. What an opener to Velocity. As Ricky now setting up. Well, what's he going to do? And again, the strength of Ricky. Dumbo under hook. What is that? Bridge? A lifting? I don't know, but he's strong, damn it. As Eddie now going up and going for the Gory Bomb. And the Gory Bomb connects. And again, going back to the arm. Again, head first, or arm first rather, into the mat. And again, here it comes Eddie Guerrero, second clothesline. What a drop kick by Guerrero. And yeah, he can feel the heat. And again, going for three amigos, number three. Nine suplexes in total. There's eight. And another one. And so three threes. Again, I like those numbers. One, two, and a kick out again. And again, Eddie setting up for the frog splash. One more time. And set it up. And connects with the frog splash. And that is all over. Two. Three. And what a win by Eddie Guerrero. And again, valiant effort by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. But again, it was Latino Heat's night. Man, oh man, what an opening to Velocity. And again, still more to come. And finally, Eddie has got one over the Dragon. As we will be back with more of Velocity. Yeah, I'm not finished with you yet. Again, what a good match between Eddie Guerrero and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. As we move on to the Women's Championship. Well, Michelle's Vengeance Tour. And with the Women's Championship. And headline WrestleMania as champion. Coming back from SummerSlam. Where she fell victim to the LWO. And losing 
the Women's Championship. At the Royal Rumble, she made her return to the ring and made a pact on vengeance against the LWO. While the attacks continue, she finally got some help from the Hollywood Blondes at the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Now that the LWO is in the past and vengeance is fulfilled, she finally has the ability to not be Chloe again, but also regain the Women's Championship. Regardless of who wins tonight, there's a nightmare coming at WrestleMania. And her path of eliminating the competition, well, it's not even that. The wild thing ended Bobby Barton's career and possibly ended Hurricane Heather's career as well. I mean, you talk about a nightmare coming, but you actually need to watch for the wild thing. And let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think that even with Paige and Rain Valentine, you, you can't escape the undead. You can't escape not only the nightmare, but voodoo and the wild thing. But nonetheless, let's get things started. Very successful at the massacre and a good defense. Well, I don't know what Amaya Little Fox was doing. But she really wasn't on it at the massacre. But nonetheless, this is your WWE Women's Championship match. Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Michelle Alexander. Introducing the champion from Chelsea, England. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Cody Valentine. Who will face the nightmare at WrestleMania for the Women's Championship? As the referee calls for the bell, and here we go. And Chloe already setting up. And a nice suplex, and oh. Alright, look at taking the page from Eddie and into the back suplex. Not a bad variation on the three amigos. As Valentine now sets up in position into the inverted DDT. And in the early going, it's Chloe in complete control. And into the DDT. Awesome. By the women's champion. And a kick to the back. More like the back of backs. And back into the snapmare. And a drop kick to the back of the head. And again, things aren't looking so good for Michelle Alexander. And again, going into the abdominal stretch. Sitting down version. I like it. And Michelle now getting out of that submission. And again, punches to the gut in a hip toss. And Michelle now with stumps. Chloe rolls out the weight into a complete shot or flatliner. A fall to the face, damn it. Chloe now. And what a drop kick. And she's going back for seconds. Kind of Daniel Bryant esque. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Chloe going into the cover. One and just a short one count. And Valentine now picks up Michelle. And what a slap as Michelle now goes into the grapple. And again, setting up for that rear naked choke. And will the women's champion tap out? And she's in good position to tap out. As Valentine now. Connects with an elbow to the back of the head, getting out of that submission. Michelle with a throw into the corner. Connects with a close line, and down goes the champ. 
And now it's Michelle going into the cover. One. And again, an early kick out at one. Michelle trying to go for something good reversal by Fallon Time. And connects with a leg sweep. Trying to go for an elbow drop. And again, Chloe setting up in position. Going for that long-winded jawbreaker. TKO. Think I better let her go. And it's all said and done. Is it a Obi-Wan super kick? Or is it a Chloe Valentine super kick? And the referee goes into the cover. Two. Three. And, whoa, I'll be. It was a lights out super kick. I would say congratulations, but you know who you have to face next. It is no question that it is the Nightmare's title to lose at WrestleMania. But nonetheless, a good title defense from the WWE Women's Champion. Well, coming up next on Velocity, the World Tag Team Championships are on the line. Those guys versus that damn DX. Let's let's do this, Sanjago. Are you ready? to the ring at a combined weight of 487 pounds triple h and the heartbreak kid sean michaels degeneration x 
and their opponents. At a combined weight of 375 pounds, they are the World Tag Team Champions, the Warlocks, and OB1. Those guys.
The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the WWE Championship. That's what I'm talking about. When you mess with those guys, not that guy, not this guy, those guys. It's awesome. No. Ow. Yeah, that pedigree hurt. We are back. As it's time, and no, not Vader time. Although you should ask Senjeku about that. Nonetheless, look. Hey, what do you mean? Hey, listen. Like I said before, B 
being clothesline over the top rope at the Rumble was the best thing I have done for my career in universe mode, all right? Okay, l listen, it had nothing to do with the WWE Champion. Anyway, will the WWE Championship change hands tonight? He's already defeated the champ, and basically, it all comes down to how the match will play out. I mean, if it's more of a brawl type of match, then the advantage will go to Goldberg, as we saw that on SmackDown, as he took the fight to the WWE Champion. If it's more of a slower pace, slower, slower, there we go, that's the one, dude. damn pedigree. Nonetheless, if it's that type of match, the D advantage is in Jake the Snake's corner. But can Goldberg go to WrestleMania as the WWE Champion? Again, I'm not trusting nobody with the Python, but very impressive for the WWE Champion. He won against DDP back at the Massacre in a pinfall victory over a future Hall of Famer and Randy Orton in what I would like to call the, the snake pit match, Viper versus Python. But after losing to the number one contender, nothing much came from Jake as he wasn't on SmackDown for a few weeks. And to be honest, SmackDown lately has been dealing with the tag team division between those guys and the clique, as well as the women dealing with the nightmare in the tribe. And as well as well as the Intercontinental Champion who is scheduled to face Kofi Kingston still. But can he get out of this rut? Can he retain the WWE Championship and go to WrestleMania? But what a match this should be. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 270 pounds, Goldberg! Introducing the champion from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Jake the Snake Roberts. What are you looking at? And so here we go. This is for the WWE Championship. Uh, referee with his punk ass. Nonetheless, who will go to WrestleMania? Again, that's... That's beautiful with the snake on this side of the belt. That's awesome. And so here we go as the referee calls for the belt. And here we go. Winner by pinfall, submission, or knockout. Because, I, listen, I don't know what the hell the referee is doing. But a kick to the back. And again, a beautiful suplex. As well as the judo toss by Goldberg. And again, we we're just stomping snakes alrighty then as Goldberg now picks up Jake and throws Jake into the turnbuckle connects with a clothesline and down goes the WWE champion and again in the early going it has all been Goldberg and what a neck breaker again we we may see a new WWE champion in a few moments because again, this is getting out of hand real fast. As Jake grabbed by the ropes back up to her standing, rather. As Goldberg is looking menacingly. 
and trying to go for a close line. Goldberg just does nothing but an axe handle, taking down the number one contender and into an elbow drop. As Jake now goes underneath the ring and again looking for a weapon. Again, there are no disqualifications. Jake with that sledgehammer and trying to go for a shot but a kick by Goldberg and a left hand reversal by Jake the Snake. And Jake now sitting up in position and connects with the DDT. And it is all over as Jake goes into the cover. Two and a kick out. Again, the snake trying to put away the number one contender. As Roberts now again attacking the arm of the number one contender. And Jake the Snake up on the top rope. Trying to go for the elbow. Oh. And Goldberg into the cover. Two. Will we see a new champion? And what a reversal by Jake the Snake. Two. And a reversal by Goldberg. Back and forth. Here we go. And a kick out. And what a shot by Goldberg. And setting up for that jackhammer. And again. I, I think they're getting that jackhammer connects and it is all over and Goldberg is going to WrestleMania 2 and a kick out and again back and forth between these two competitors who will win who will go to WrestleMania and the axe handle smash taking down the number one contender and into the gut Buster as Jake now back on the outside going underneath the ring for a weapon again as now Jake the Snake steel chair in hand and hits air all right hits the knee that's better that's so much better physics everyone and Jake connects with a close line and again Jake going to the cover. One, two, and a kick out. And I think it's time for Jake to set up for the DDT for the second time. And Jake in perfect position. And here it goes into the DDT. And that is all over as Jake goes into the cover. Is Jake going to WrestleMania? Two. Three and Jake the Snake Roberts will go to WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. Here is your winner and still WWE Champion, Jake the Snake Roberts. Jake the Snake will go to WrestleMania as the Champion as we will be right back with more of Velocity. And listen to this crowd. And can this guy. No, not that guy. Sanjeko, what? Uh, nonetheless, can this guy, Kofi Kingston, become the Intercontinental Champion yet again? Uh, but by the way, I, I heard from Shelton. He He's doing fine. He's in NXT. Not sure if he's crying or not. But I mean, we, we can't confirm that. But making his impact coming back after the massacre, beating Adam Cole in a non-title match. But can he do it again tonight? Again, I gotta give props to the Intercontinental Champion. Again, winning it back at the Royal Rumble in the Triple Threat match. And then doing it by his own without the Undisputed Era. 
you know, going through people like Rey Mysterio, people like Cedric Alexander, which, you know, let's be honest, is kind of questionable dealing with Cesaro as well. But nonetheless, this man has been on top of his game. And again, he will probably become a main event, maybe for the Undisputed Championship. But going to WrestleMania as the Intercontinental Champion, you know, that's a good gig. You know, at least in my universe, Mo, uh, real life, we're, we're, we're just kind of not talking about that. But again, what a match this should be. Let's go to JoJo for the introductions. Introducing the champion from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Adam Cole. And so here we go, who will go to Wrestlemania as the Intercontinental Champion? Uh, this should be good. Kofi Kingston, Adam Cole. As referee calls for the bell, and here we go. And immediately, close line by Kofi Kingston taken down the IC champ and right into a Russian leg sweep classic trying to go for a kick to the chest but a nice strike and screw by Adam Cole and Cole now with a kick to a chest of his own and Cole now and a knee to the face or a knee to the back of the head rather And Kofi Kingston rolls out the way and connects with a beautiful drop kick. And again, winner by pinfall submission. Not sure about disqualification because the referee didn't tell me a damn thing. But a nice stalling suplex by Adam Cole. And Kofi Kingston rolls out to the outside. And here we go. I think this is no disqualifications. Oh, that's right. Thank you, JoJo. Extreme rules, duh. As Kofi now picks Adam Cole back up, trying to go for something. And the elbow to the head of the number one contender as Cole throws Kingston back into the inside of the ring. Again, just continue with stomps, stomping everywhere as Kofi rolls out the way. And what a knife edge chop. And again, jocking for position. And another beautiful drop kick. And Kofi now trying to go for a knife edge chop. And a big boot by Adam Cole. And again going back and forth. And again multiple eye rakes to the face. As Cole now goes into the cover. Referee a little bit out of position but a quick one count. As Cole now picks Kingston back up and goes into the corner and connects with a forearm. Good reversal by Kingston as Kofi now throws Adam Cole into the ropes. And the trouble in paradise from nowhere. And again, Kofi Kingston will go to WrestleMania. Referee into the cover and a kick out. 
And what a trouble in paradise that was. And again, stomping. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It can't be. And again, we haven't seen him. There he is. Pete Dunn, everybody. We haven't seen him since the Royal Rumble. And into the bitter end. Uh, referee going into the cover. Two. And the kick out. And Kofi Kingston kicks out of the bitter end. We have... I'm a little bit lost because good to see Pete Dunne, but at the same time, you mean to tell me he went at the Kofi Kingston, not the person who hit him in the face with a damn sledgehammer. You gotta be kidding me. As Kofi now, good jawbreaker. Again, trying to go for something and a kick. And will it be? No. But go around DDT by the Intercontinental Champion. I can't believe this. And again, setting up for the last shot. And could it be game over for Kofi Kingston in position? And there's the last shot. As Adam Cole goes into the cover. Two, three. And Adam Cole picks up the victory and is heading towards WrestleMania. Adam Cole continues to get it done as we will be back with your main event Stone Cold versus Alistair Black. main event of Wrestlemania could be altered by this match tonight. Could it be Aleister Black versus Diesel at Wrestlemania making his debut on Monday Night Raw in that Intercontinental Championship match between Adam Cole and Cedric Alexander. A major respect that he did it after the match. Unlike what happened tonight between Adam Cole and Kofi Kingston. Well, well, well. Look who's joining for the Undisputed Championship match. The number one contender for the title. The Royal Rumble winner. You know, how much of a factor will Diesel play in the match? Because again... It's basically a handicap match. And that's terrible odds for the undisputed champion. But Diesel making the champion's life a living hell after the massacre, you know, backstage attacks, the attack to Austin before his match with Alistair causing Black to win a non-title match. He's just been a pain in Austin's ass these past few weeks. And with him in Black's corner, we could see a new champion. But what an opportunity for Black. You know, he's coming from NXT. He has been champion, defending it from Daniel Bryan before losing it to Edge as he moved on to the main roster. Will Black go to WrestleMania as the champion? We will find out in a few short moments. He's been the champion since September of last year, winning it at the main event. Will this be the end of his reign as champion? But he is not going out without a fight. 
This past Monday, Austin had enough, hitting Diesel in the quad, and hitting the referee with the steel chair, which is just warms the cockles of my heart. Good stuff from the undisputed champion, and will you just listen to this crowd? Will Austin go to WrestleMania as the undisputed champion with all the odds stacked up against him? Introducing the champion from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, he is the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. The final roadblock before going into WrestleMania, will Steve Austin retain his title? Or will we will see a new WWE Undisputed Champion? This is what it's all about. Again, referee with his... Nonetheless! Referee calls for the bell. And here we go. And Austin get the early advantage... Kicking things off with the neck breaker. And again, the head slams into the mat, you know, setting up for that stunner a little bit later. Black rolls out the way. And Austin throws and connects with a clothesline, knocking down the number one contender. But a good reversal by Black. Black now has the upper advantage. And what a kick by Alistair Black. Again, setting up for that Black Mass. And again, what, what a match that these two had on Monday night. You know, despite the attack by the guy on the outside. Beautiful hip toss suplex. And Black now sets his sights on Austin's arm. And again, slamming that into the mat. And again, I, I'm not sure how much, you know, the arm plays a factor. You know, when your finisher is to the head. But nonetheless, Black goes into the cover in a quick one count. Black now attacking the arm. His bicep. Maybe his tricep. And again, who will get the advantage? That's Austin now. A uh, punch to the gut. And a reversal into the turnbuckle. And a close line again knocking down Alistair Black. And here comes Austin setting up for stunner number one. And it connects. And will this be all over as referee goes into the cover. Two. And a kick out. You know maybe the stunner isn't as powerful anymore as Austin now. Sets his sights on the arm. I, 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 I don't, whatever. As Black now. I'm not sure. Setting his sights. With a soccer kick to the back. And now, trying to get the advantage. But again, another reversal by the Texas Rattlesnake. And a snap mare back into the inside of the ring. Try to go for a right hand punch. But a side to back suplex. And again Black setting up now. Again is he going for a coup de gras? Yes he is. And Austin rolls out the way. That's Black now. Throws Austin. Trying to go for a double knees. And a close line to the back of the head. Taking down Black again. And here comes Stunner, number two, and Austin in position 
and the stunner connects for the second time. And would this be all over as the referee goes into the cover. Two and a kick out. So we are getting there. We are getting towards AJ Styles territory. And Austin all fired up. Again trying to get the advantage. Good job breaker by Alistair Black. And Black now setting up an end to the brain buster. Uh, I think he's setting up. He's going for it. Knee to the face. Knee to the face and what a shot. As Black now goes into the cover. One, two and the kick out. Again, the only thing that's left is the Black Mass. And again, Black is setting up for it. Getting ready in position. And here it comes. Black Mass. And then it's all over, and we will see a new WWE Champion and a kick out. Goose. Sorry. A uh, black now in perfect position, and here comes the number one contender. Connects with the leg sweep. And again, going back, knee to the face. As black now picks up. The undisputed champion but counters with the shoulder block. Shoulder tackle. Shoulder. And here comes the undisputed champion. And straight into a third clothesline. And it's only a matter of time setting up for that Luthes press. And he does. And here we go. And I think that busted Aleister Black wide open. Uh, I mean, you, Diesel, you, you kind of realize that it's, it's no disqualification. You can do something, anything. That's Black now trying to go for something and a punch to the gut. And Austin now connects with stunner number three. And into the cover. One, two, and again another kick out. And again, you have to give the resiliency to the number one contender. And again, D Diesel, you, you know what? Handle, homie. You know, do your thing. As Black now into the counter. And again, going for knee to the face yet again. Austin rolls out the way and connects with a running bulldog. As Black rolls out to the outside apron. And a punch taking down Black to the floor. To the mat. And the referee now just watch. I guess. Connects with a suplex. I, I mean again. Diesel. Snow disqualification. You can do something. Anything. But a knee to the face. It's not a running knee to the face, but another hip toss suplex. As Black now setting up in that power bomb position. And what a shot onto the apron. And a spin into the apron as well. And again, what a shot. And what a move by Aleister Black, but a good reversal by Austin. As Austin trying to go for a right hand punch. And Black throws Austin back into the inside of the ring. Referee, I, I don't know what the hell the referee is doing. But Black on the top rope. And connecting with an elbow drop. And again, trying to set up for the Black Mass. Or maybe a kick or knee to the face. But into the cover again. Two and again another kick out. My apologies, running knee to the face. Still a knee to the face. I, I, pretty sure that it hurts. And again, going back to the bicep, tricep. And what a match it has been. And again, the resiliency of Aleister Black. 
Black now. Back into the grapple. And a gut wrench on my apologies. A rebound suplex. Damn. And again, Black in complete control. And again, here comes the number one contender. And a right hand shot. And into the Lutez press. And the referee calls for the belt. Wait, that's it? And Austin picking up the victory. Again, he, he knocked the hell out of Aleister Black. And what a victory by Austin, but Diesel again. You had the chance. You had the opportunity. As I am Obi-Wan, thank you for Velocity. We will see you for Monday Night Raw.